So we have here Darbots. Are you Darbots one, two, three, or four? Four. You're Darbots four. And this is our robot. All right. So you want to tell us a bit about your robot and what it does? Uh, it has a ball connector system with the fence. So when this comes down while the, uh, the game board just spins and collects balls into that. We lift this up and the balls come into the hopper. And then we move over to, we move over to a crate. Oh, this comes up and the balls fall into the crate. Then we have a lifting system with uh, two sprockets. So once the sprockets we get uh, motor moves, it turns this and lifts the, uh, this up. So what we can do with this, we can attach this to a crate and at the end game and lift the crate up and score points. Awesome. So uh, you'll have a ball in that crate. Yes. Because of wait, so this lifts up, the ball comes in, and okay, yeah, yeah, you'll drop it into the crate there. And once again, testing. This is software testing. We're going to try to work. What are we? The blue alliance? Okay, we are. That's kind of important. Yeah. Yeah, why? Well, try to pick up a ball, or not a ball, a crate. There you go. Why didn't you get a crate first? Oh, no. Why didn't you get a crate? <laughs> That's the first thing you need to be doing in a competition. Get the crate. No, no, no. Good job. I'm Simon Wu, uh, co-captain of Team 112, the Robo Knights of the Round Table from Pace Academy. Awesome. Do you want to tell us a bit about your team? Uh, sure. We're a four and a half man team. Our chief programmer, Michael, is busy with debate today, and so he couldn't be here. But essentially, do you want me to talk about a robot real quick? Sure. We can go over and take a look at it. All right. Come the back uh, So what we've got here is Find one. what we've got on the front here is oh. a giant kind of cloud that collects uh, the racket balls with the servo right here. It's dual wired, these motors are dual wired together so they work in tandem. What this back arm does is it, um, it goes down to the right height to snag a crate, pulls it up, the crate is right here, and this will dump the racquetballs inside. Um, what we've got here is, this is essentially like, kind of like a cross between a pickup truck and a tow truck. This is the pickup truck end, that's the tow, Simon, don't kind of the dump truck end. This is our, essentially the hood, and under here is all of our wiring. We've hidden it away between two plates of metal so that it's basically impervious because we had trouble with wires getting caught and things like last year. Um, our battery compartment is actually in here. You see, we slide the battery in here and this is the flap that covers it. All right, so we've got our Samantha, uh, our Samantha right here, NXT right here. And essentially, um, this bar is actually tight enough that uh, the NXT does not require any additional, you know, Tetrix parts to make so it stick. So to remove it, you just slide it out, or we do you actually slide remove it the out. bar? Okay. We just slide it out. And so this thing, this entire um, hood section, actually can be lifted up and off if we ever needed to access the wiring. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, hello, we are here with the uh, gears. Just gears? Just gears. Yeah. Okay. We're engineering and robotics. Cool. So, why don't you tell us a bit about your team? All right, so we've got about 16 members of our team. We've all kind of worked together um, on different parts of it. And uh, our, our design is we have a hand on the front that kind of extends around and we'll grab 
balls and uh, crates and puts it on the back for a scissor. And whenever that scissor lift, when it has the ball in it, you will lift it up to a certain amount of height, depending on how high we can get with the cords being pulling it up on the motors. Do you know how high that is? Um, probably like from the ground. I'd say like this high. If everything, if, if, if it goes up the whole way. Well, that's how stable it was. Maximum height on it without stability in mind would probably be about this high. Yeah. But that would be close. That would be as high up as it go, and it would probably fall over. Well, that's awesome. It's an awesome scissor lift design. I see that you did fabrication with that. Cut pieces of sheet metal. Or did you? Or are we had the bar, aluminum. Aluminum bar, and cut it like that. Ah. So my needs a zip tie. So there's a scissor lift design. And how do you lift the scissor lift? Uh, these motors here spin, pull this cord up on both sides, and it just loose it. Uh, no. Oh, 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 there's okay. a bar in the middle. Of the I see. Cool. So, but this right here grabs the crate. And then, wait, how do you put the ball in? We, uh, this closes around a ball as well. Oh, okay, gotcha. That looks really good. Awesome. We have our thing on the front, push the bowling ball around. Did you want me to do you need very ball? nice. You're a very yeah, well rounded robot. Also, like, uh, just where the balls won't get up, like, stuck under it. Mitchell, do you need so that works. That works. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're geared up. Uh, it's for really Mitchell fast. Very nice. Gears. Have you guys been in FTC for a while, or is this your first year? This is our first year for Good job. Good job at this. Okay. So here's another Darbots team. Darbot. Yes. Darbots number two. Number two, yeah. We're... Number two Darbots. Um, so tell us a bit about your team. My team? Um, my team teammates is yes, all from um, the other part of the world. Like, Eves, come here. I'm, He's, I'm from Switzerland. Yeah. And the guy is the one, uh, Cherry. We both from China. Hello. And are you uh, like exchange students? Or? Yeah. Huh? Are you exchange students? Uh, yeah, we're boarding students. We're like boarding students. And our fourth team uh, member who's not here, he's at a soccer tournament right now, but he he's from Bermuda, so we're from all around. Uh -huh. Cool. And uh, um, we designed our robot, which uh, which is focused on uh, the pushing the bowling ball right here. And uh, the design of the arm could hold the bowling ball. And uh, our robot, you can find it, uh, is similar and uh, and uh, uh, very seems very light. And uh, it has the fastest speed to push the um, to push the bowling ball into the into the cockpit. Because it's so light. Yeah, it's so light, and uh, it has the power enough power to push the bowling ball. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So we are here once again with Project Ninja, formerly known as App. Uh, so tell us a bit about your team. Um, well, our middle school team has competed with this competition. We have a robot that actually moves, which is exciting. And we can score points. And we did some community outreach and stuff. We have a pretty cool name, I must admit. Uh -huh. And we've grown the team dramatically, doubling in size in the past year. Because we started with four people, and now we've doubled that. That's awesome. <laughs> so you want to tell us a bit about your robot? Sure. So our robot, uh, it has an arm. And basically what we're trying to do is um, we're going to ask our alliance if they can put balls in the crate already so we can just go to the crate and lift it up because um, our arm can go really high so we were going to go on the ramp and lift the crate up to get uh, a lot of points. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so we're here with a yet another Darbot. Are you Darbot 3? Darbot 3. Darbot 1? Yeah. Wait, which one was Darbot 3? Uh, they were over there. Okay. Okay. They're not there anymore. Darbot 3 is over there. Okay, but this is Darbot 1, the yes. first Darbot. Okay, so tell us a bit about your team. Well, we have Tim, Steven, Dave, Maria, We're and five. five people. Um, we have one person, Steven, who's uh, mainly the programmer, and he had a year of experience, and we're all rookies other than Steven. And uh, this is our robot, 4308. So, we have two arms. This arm is meant to, it's meant to pick up grades, okay. and, then, and then at the end, hold them up. And then your arms are over there, but we 
can turn around. It's meant to uh, pick up the balls with the, uh, the legal motor spinning. We can, get, we can get the balls in, and then we have a serial here that we turn, and then the serial we get the balls out of the brain. All right. And then for the volleyball, we uh, we're gonna go for the volleyball at the end if we have if we have time. We can just put it here, get the ball in there, and then try to hold it later with this. Sounds good. Thank you very much. You're Game checks. James seems to be tightening things to make sure it doesn't fall apart during the match. We have a duck from Project Ninja on top of our robot. We have two ducks. Oh, and the first match is starting. That's great. So, fun. The Bolton Science Academy from Alcorn and Georgia And their partners, yet another team from the Darlington School in Rome, 4308 Darbox 3. So this is the result of this round, our first round. We got some things in autonomous. We're the blue alliance, by the way. But the red alliance has all these balls. That's very difficult to determine whether the bowling ball is in or not, but the bowling ball is definitely in our zone. Um, we had a problem with getting the crates. They kept knocking the crates out of our way. So the question is, will our autonomous points carry over, or will these count for all of everything? Sorry, what? Um, apparently our, our partners got a ton of penalties for interfering with the red sites crates. And, uh, they were they were on our bridge, but we didn't. The judge didn't call it as that because they said we pushed them. Well, our we allies got four penalties. We just got zero points. That's because our allies got like. Without the penalties, how many points would we have gotten? Well, if there, basically everybody should have gotten penalties. So did, did our zero. robot count as being in the other in, in the starting? I don't think so. Okay, whatever. I, I, I think it may have, I don't know. I don't know. But we need a better... So, yeah, how are we refining our strategy? We need, whenever we're trying to do anything, we need our ally or someone else, which is probably our ally, to block us away from the other robots. Because we can't do anything if they're ramming into us. That's what was happening. We were trying to pick up a crate, and they just kept running into our arm. Uh, we need a defensive bot. Yeah. Who's our next ally? Yeah. Our next ally is the Techno Warriors. We'll okay. see if they fix their robot. We can still salvage. We did get a magnet ball, yeah. but we didn't have a chance to score it since they were sitting at the bottom of our ramp. By the way, they should have incurred a penalty for being on our ramp in the first place. They said and that they put, you pushed them on. No, we did. We, sitting we never way. contacted them. They backed up into the ramp. I've got footage of it. You okay, want to go over? It? It. I mean, the, the calls are. Okay, let's go take a look at the footage. Yeah. I think they're there. All right, so you guys are our next alliance. All right. What we're going to do, we are going to, uh, we're going to try to knock over some things, try and get balls all around the field so we can collect them, and then uh, we are going to pick up balls and sift through them. Um, I think that since you're good with the crates, we'll let. You, What's your capacity for crates? It's, we don't have enough time to load. Like we we can load five. Okay. All right. Anyway, so you'll work with the crates. We'll concentrate on balls. Okay. All right. We will need a few though. Okay. And we have to get those first. All right. So if we suck up one of your magnet balls. We can't really help that. Let me let me take a look at what the other teams are, and then I'll come back to you. 